Hello and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So in your first year, you are taught about culture media. Okay, so today we are going to discuss about types of culture media based on the chemical composition. Okay, so this is the first video. In second video, I will be discussing how the culture medias are classified depending on their role or function. Okay, or say application. Okay, so don't forget to watch the second part of this video particular topic so let's start with this one so first we will see what is medium so medium is singular and media is plural and it is a substance that we provide or that provides nutrients for the growth of microorganism okay simply call it as food that we are providing for microbes okay the nutrients on which microorganisms are cultivated they are called as culture media or culture medium the culture medium is a solid or liquid preparation containing all the nutrients which are required by microorganisms for growth. Now microbes can use the nutrients for culture media as their food is as their food is necessary for cultivating them in in vitro. In case of uh, naturally occurring uh, nutrients, microbes they can gain access and they can absorb the nutrients and they can use them for their growth when we are trying to mimic the environmental conditions the nutrient requirement we use culture media in our microbiology lab now culture media vary in their form and composition uh, composition determined by the species to be cultivated okay so there are some general media like nutrient agar or nutrient broth that we widely use when we first get a sample okay so we first think it of just isolating whatever is present in the sample on nutrient agar so that is a basic or basal media but if you have or if you know that there is a fastidious micro present in the sample that means the one which requires or which is highly demanding in the nutrients for example say um, a particular microbe requires blood agar for its growth then that is or that depends on what kind of culture you are working with okay so there is no single media which can support the growth of majority of microbes as the requirement for each microbe can differ okay but mostly uh, all the cultures that we study and we grow in our labs they are well studied and well known to us so we know their medium requirements okay now media it is used to grow transport or store organisms okay now liquid culture medium is called broth okay so it is it has same composition as agar just the difference is there is no solidifying agent added to a broth but when you add a solidifying agent like agar agar in the ratio of say 1.5 to 2 percent of the complete solid agar or less than 1 percent then it becomes semi-solid if the um, for example say 2 grams of agar is required for 100 ml of media then you are getting a solidified that is agar okay and when you add half the amount of agar you get semi-solid medium now agar agar is sulfonated mucopolysaccharide containing mainly d galactose d glucuronic acid and 36 anhydro l galactose okay it is derived from red seaweed uh, example gelidium and it was introduced to us by microbiologist fanny hesse or fanny hess and his wife okay now based on chemical composition media can be classified as natural semi-synthetic and synthetic so today we are going to focus on these so natural is also known as empirical media so these media are purely used on the basis of past experience okay or say when um, synthetic medias were not in use okay so the exact chemical composition is not known as 
uh, and those these media are known as natural or empirical culture media okay so as you know milk has um, good amount of carbon nitrogen source so it was used previously to grow some bacteria okay so the exact composition was not known and likewise other um, other liquids like urine diluted blood vegetable extracts or juices meat extract beef and tomato juice even blood direct whole blood was also used for cultivation of microbes okay so components of each liquid or uh, extract that is used or that uh, extract are used by bacteria as c and n source to grow okay so components which um, milk has or say vegetable juice may have they are used by bacteria as carbon and nitrogen source to grow now about synthetic or chemically defined media so such media are composed of substances mostly say inorganic one that are chemically known to us and thus it is possible for us to prepare two exact batches of such synthetic media so these media are very useful in studying the physiology metabolic nature and nutritional requirements of microbes and both autotrophs and heterotrophs can be grown in these media examples are mineral glucose media richard solution or rollins media so these are chemically defined and we know the exact composition which is suitable for microbial growth so we can reproduce okay now another uh, point in the synthetic or chemically defined media is organic synthetic media so the difference here is there are some organic compounds like amino acids salts of calcium magnesium copper etc vitamins and carbohydrates and esters they are required in the media for microbial growth okay so say for some uh, fastidious microbes these organic synthetic medias are used for example medium used for cultivating causative agent of diphtheria that is cornibacteria corinibacterium diphtheria okay so for cultivation of uh, this causative agent a synthetic organic synthetic media is used now non synthetic or semi synthetic and chemically ill defined media so the culture media where chemical components are partially known to us or partially obscure they are termed as semi synthetic culture media or non synthetic so it is not possible for us to prepare two separate identical media batches okay there can be something more or less so as they contain hydrolyzed products of proteins like peptone and tryptone it is difficult for us to prepare two identical batches okay as the exact composition is not known the examples are potato dextrose agar zapacdox agar oatmeal agar corn meal agar etc okay so this was about types of culture media depending on the chemical composition so i hope you like this video do share this videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you